Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Well, I'm back. It's been about six to eight weeks and we've been waiting on delayed issues of issue 35, 36 and 37 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks. We're not going to be doing any work on issue number 35. I attempted this one with my own fabrics and did a bit of a detective work. So I'm going to leave this one. Um, issue number 36 talks about how to assemble all of your patches together. It could be interesting to read, but I'm going to assemble mine at the end when I've finished all of my patches. And the reason for that is because I've used different fabrics and they may not look too good next to other patches. And finally, issue number 37, where we're going to make the windmill square. To make the windmill square, you're going to be receiving your midnight floral, the lemon spot, teal gingham, and a little piece of the ivory sprig. I'm not going to be using the ivory sprig. I've got a spare piece of midnight floral that I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to stash this away and pop this here with our other fabrics. To make the windmill square, you'll also need template C, template F, and template D. I think we've already made a version of the windmill square, so I've got these template pieces from that previous square. Let's get cracking! Our first step is to cut out all of our fabric pieces. I'm going to start with our midnight floral piece and the large C template. We need four C template pieces, so I'm going to fold the fabric in half and therefore cut out two and we will have four. four C pieces cut out. I'm going to cut out four of the D template using the teal gingham. And that's our D template pieces cut out. And now for our F templates. We're going to need four from the lemon spot next. I'm going to fold the fabric in half and again we will need four pieces. So therefore I'm going to cut out two. And now for another four of the F template from the Midnight Floral. And that's all of our pieces cut out. I'm going to lay out the windmill square out in front of me. Thank you. 
So here we have our windmill square pieces all set out in front of us. I'm going to be setting up my machine and my iron. So my sewing machine's all set up and I'm ready to sew. I'm feeling a bit rusty because it's been such a while since I've made a patch. But I've read through the guide and I'm feeling confident. My first step is to stitch together the yellow spot to my midnight floral, which would have been the ivory sprig. I'm going to do that with this one, two, three, four pieces and give them a press. So the four pairs of lemon spot and midnight floral have been stitched together. I'm now going to be stitching the teal gingham onto the yellow spot, creating a larger triangle for each of these four sections. So all of the center pieces of our windmill square have been stitched together. I'm going to give them a trim and a bit of a press. So we're all pressed and we're ready to sew our quarters together. Now that we've got our quarters, we're going to stitch them together first in two, into a half and then the two halves together to create the whole patch. I'm going to give it a press before I stitch the half together. It's time to stitch our first half. We've got our two halves stitched and pressed. It is now time to stitch the two halves together and give it a final press.
So here we have our completed windmill square. I'm really happy how it turned out considering it's been about six to eight weeks since I've made my last patch and I felt quite rusty. It's good to be back and I look forward to hopefully receiving issue number 37 this week. Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time, hopefully next week. Bye.